What's the advice for people that uh, want to build something special like what you have? Put your put your nose to the grind. Just keep on working, you know, and and have a mindset and stay to it from day to day. I mean, it gets tough. I'm like, I've been down the roads before. It gets tough, but you gotta keep on pushing. You gotta keep on pushing. Okay, we're good. Because you know, a lot of <laughs> recording already. What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. I don't want to say this is probably the nicest cattle hauler combination I've seen, but I'm gonna say that it's pretty much uh, top two. We'll leave it at that. So Perfect. there could be yep. one more competitor, right? Absolutely. Introduce yourself, brother. I'm Brandon Lesage out of uh, Abrams, Wisconsin. Uh, we all livestock and working on trucks and keeping trucks clean and hauling cattle and. In the trucking industry, we, we, we love it. So time when I see uh, cattle haulers, I, I stay away. <laughs> we try to keep all of our equipment always clean. That's uh, our customers thrive off of that. Is keeping our, our trailers clean and their animals happy, and it's just just the way it is. <laughs> Alright mother truckers, we get a special treat today because usually we talk with the owner about the truck, we, we don't get one of the main builders on exactly. it. Exactly. So who is this man? I'm Alfonso Valdez. Most people know me as Fonz. I met LeSage through when we were building this truck over at Amcan Truck Parts and TA Truck Painting. Yeah. Now we're a good friendship, more like a family, but it was a fun truck build. You know, I mean now I gotta get into your head a little bit. I mean, how was this build? I know you guys are friends, so like the pressure was on. Right, like. Well, I didn't know him before building his truck at all. Really, no, not no, at all. No, so not you at guys all. actually became so it, it worked out great. It did. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you it know, was, it was def definitely worth it. Now, if you weren't it. happy, then maybe you guys wouldn't <laughs> be friends. But we'll leave no, that one. That's off like, camera. Yeah. <laughs> that's, off, that's off camera, right? <laughs> no, good. but you know, uh, tell us some stuff about this build. Like, uh, what were the hard parts? What are the things that went through your guys' mind to make his dreams happen? Well, when we got the truck, it was just. Just a truck and no motor, no trans, nothing. I mean, it was a bone stock truck. Wow. I can send you some pictures later about how we got it to the yard. It came on a record because obviously it can't be driven. And it was a bone, bone stock truck. I think the hardest part was when we had this whole truck done at one point. I mean, the whole truck was ready to go, wash and everything for the stage, and then he comes back to the shop and says, I want to stripe down the whole thing. So, you would do that. I did. So we I had did. to take the whole thing back apart and yeah. put the stripe in and clear everything back in. But other than that, there was a lot of cool things on the whole truck that we did, like the interior. I mean, the, when we first painted this color, I was a little skeptical about it, but then matched up with the black. Yeah. And it just looks, it just pops out real Dude, good. it pops out like crazy. Is it really when he just walked in and said, hey, I want some stripes? What was his first like big truck build? So he didn't know exactly what he wanted yet, but he sat down with Nick and like Jim Higgins Jim comes Higgins. up with the stripe design and then just a bunch of brains came together and they and hats off a masterpiece. To Jim, and hats off to Jim Higgins. I mean, he was, he, he gave me a couple different stripes, the stripe designs that he did. And I'm like, I like this one, but I want to tweak it a little bit. And yeah. Nick was there, Nick helped me through a lot through a lot I that's mean, awesome man and i know i probably gave him a lot of gray hair but uh, yeah <laughs> it's you know it was my first big build and you know i got it's just i was kind of all over the board you know? no you know that's great man so at the end of the day because we don't get to ask a lot of builders this uh when someone wants to build their their dream truck any advice for them just put your ideas together and talk with people that have built trucks in the past usually and collide your ideas together and you guys can usually make something pretty cool you know that's it man i love it you know out of this what really came wasn't this but it was really your guys's friendship oh yeah, yeah. And, and, and now I mean, we talk almost every day i mean we're always it's 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 definitely a bond now we're a friendship forever you know that's cool man hey i appreciate you man no support problem. this man right here is there anything you want to shout out that people can support as far as anything uh, stop being humble man it's your time <laughs> thanks Go. to my family and friends that let me do all this. It's gonna be like, how do we find him? <laughs> I have TikTok and I post some of the videos I paint and stuff. Shout that out! Uh, I think my TikTok's Alfonso Junior 07. Yeah. And I do some of my videos of me spraying stuff and all that. And a lot of people love what I do just because they don't see a lot of truck painters, you know? It's yeah. The paint of 
truck, like the whole line, it's just completely different than a car, you know? It's a whole different aspect. Difference, yeah. You got rivets that you gotta worry about. I mean, it's big areas that you gotta paint. It ain't a small door. Not saying that car painting's easy, but big truck painting is a whole different game. But well, we got this truck, like I said, it was bold stock. We did air ride on it, 12 gauge air ride. We did a Valley Chrome front bumper, United Pacific, double round headlights, double J brackets for the headlights. We obviously painted the whole frame, it came in as black, we sandblasted the whole frame. In the rear, we sunk all the bolts and just try to make everything cleaner, you know. We color matched a lot of the engine parts, radiator, air to air, tubing for it. Did 12 gauge, fly mount for the air cleaners. We did the old school Peterbilt air cleaners, ROK visor. The truck came in with no cab lights. We drilled all the holes, measured it all out, and we did three tight in the center and the two far outside. 12 gauge mirror brackets, 12 gauge battery box covers. Um, we did the cabin sleeper panels, color matched those two. Did the whole interior, I mean, ripped out the whole dash, smoothed out the whole plastics on it. Painted everything, rockwood dash panels, rockwood accessories inside, and 12 gauge headliner there with the speakers inside the CV, and you got your stereo in there. Obviously, all the interiors, spare time fab, uh, yeah, skin. Yeah, skin. skins, I believe. The pedals for it, Dynaflex, 8 inch pipes. We did 12 gauge thicker fuel tank straps. Um, and on the air tanks. And on the air tanks. We took the typical little chrome off the handle and then we smoothed that out because you get the little dimple in there. We did, we hit all the air ride and the shocks and all that for the sleeper and we hit up underneath. I mean, you can't even tell right now. Did the three lights on each side for the back. Eye panel, flush mount deck plate. York fenders, 12 gauge T-bar in the back. And then you know Peterson had like uh, all the lights in the back, and then just color match stuff on the trailer. We didn't add any any more lights on the trailer. It's got plenty of lights <laughs> on the trailer, but plenty of underglow underneath the truck, front to back. Got some orange, some LED strips, everything hidden under there. Even between the cab and the sleeper, stuff's hidden up in there. That's awesome. It's just man. a bright truck at night, you know. That's all Shoot. So, so you guys didn't do much. Not much. We didn't. We hardly did anything. One day build. <laughs> Twenty four hours. In and Twenty four hours in and out. <laughs> just the frame and the cab. Hood was out. Obviously, no motor. Everything else is just. We took the we took the whole sleeper off. We did the sleeper of the work outside. Tanks. Everything were off. And when we painted it, it was in the booth. It was just the cab. I was left on there in the frame. It's all painted in pieces, yeah. Everything was painted. It's awesome, man. But pretend I know nothing, which I know nothing, man. So <laughs> tell me. It's all good. Yeah, the, the trailer is a uh, Wilson 2020 dual dual lift, 53-102. Um, I had the trailer built from Wilson. Uh, I ordered it through Jeff Pabe and uh, did a do a lift on it, had this, both of them are tandems and they just put lift axle on the back and I had one before, I didn't, I didn't think it rode good enough so I pushed the axle back uh, about 8 inches, evened it out so it's everything spaced out equally and it rides excellent, rides excellent, pulls great. Um, I had a guy out uh, up by me, Abrams, build uh, my, uh, Build the lower piece here, my ICC bumper here, and uh, T8 or total appearance. Painted everything, painted the whole trailer, and uh, yeah, we did extra lights in the back. There's 246 lights on the trailer. That's a lot, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's it's like the big glow bug going down the road, but that's that's what I wanted. I think you know, bull racks are supposed to be you know lit up. It's just the way it should be. I love it, man. That's great, man. You know, uh, most of the time they're they're working trailers, so you can't look inside. But you keep yours pristine, don't you? Yep, I keep it clean. There, there's there's some miles on the trailer. I got about two hundred thirty five thousand on the trailer. Um, you know, it's not perfect. There's there's some dings and dents on it, but it's just just the way it is. Can we take a look inside? Yeah, yeah, hush. Absolutely. I ain't gonna lie. Half the time when I see uh, cattle haulers, I, I stay away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always clean.
that's uh, our customers thrive off of that is keeping our, our trailers clean and their animals happy and it's just just the way it is hey just say we're about to pick up a load of cattle. all right all right what are we gonna, doing we're gonna pick up a load of cows but we're at the truck show so i'm gonna show them how this all works and how we load cattle look at that Three to four animals out, all depends on them all, and Holsteins or fats, and uh, bring them up to shoot. You know, my door's open first, of course. I gotta follow you over here now. Yeah, yeah. So give me help. a second. Yeah. That's what we do. We just gotta hang out and do it. Look at that. All right. So I am a heifer. <laughs> <laughs> or bull, whatever you wanna call yourself. So, uh, jailhouse here. Let's get his lowered. So, we usually put uh, feeders up here. If we're hauling feeders, it all depends what we're, you know, every week is different, but most of the time it's all bigger cattle. And uh, this drops down. And then you take this gate. You have somebody else bring them up or, or yourself if you're by yourself. Close this, get them in here, walk behind the gate, and you chase them up here. And uh, So is this where the big boys go or the scary no, boys? No, or this, this is where the little, all the smaller feeders go okay. if, if we're hauling feeder cattle. I'm telling you, it's like playing in a maze. Yeah, yeah, a very expensive maze, <laughs> all built out of cans. <laughs> Well, these are just uh, gates we call cuts. That uh, I, I always use the gates when I when I load cattle. They're, they're absolutely your best friend if you don't want to get hurt or anything. Uh, they're just you got to use them. So this is where we load the nose. And tell us what that means. This is the <laughs> you know this is just a ramp that that goes down. I have it. Uh, I don't have it as steep. Uh, Wilson did that for me. I had him build it up a little bit so it's not so steep for the animals to come back to transition out of. So you can load the nose. I usually put uh, three fats down there. It all depends what I'm hauling, but or Holsteins. I usually put four to five in there. Heifers. And then uh, this is from the funnel gate to make it easier on them. So when you're when you're behind here, you can close the gate and run them right down. You know, if they're a little wild, which most of the time they're not. Sometimes they are. So you close this, and and then you're protected. So works out good. How many uh, cattle can you uh, usually fit in one go? It all depends. Uh, you know, Holstein heifers that we haul out of Kansas. We usually put like uh, anywhere between 38 and 40 of them on per load. I uh, usually do, you know, four in the nose, 13, 14, and seven on the tail. Yeah. That's, that's about average. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, in, in big cows from out west that we haul, we usually do three, 10, 11, six on the tail. And you're, you're loaded. So I heard that, brother. Yeah. I appreciate loaded. you. Yeah, it, it, you're loaded. But uh, then there's a second little spot you put calves here up in the nose. Double deck it. I don't haul too many small calves, but uh, I mean that's that's up there. You, you, that, you can pull that out, flip it down below, and you can make a, a double deck out of it. Just you know, so you can put more calves on, and it, it, it helps out. Uh, you know, I, I don't haul too many calves, but 
It's That's just, awesome, man. I appreciate yeah, you so they have, much. Yeah, a lot of a lot of compartments, and you know, and there's there's other trailers out there that you know they got. They got the double deck through the whole trailer, and, and hats off to them guys. That, that's a lot of extra work. <laughs> you know, when so, you look at a trailer like this, uh, how much does a trailer cost you? Something uh, like this. This trailer was one fifteen when I ordered it. You know, a lot of extra lights, of course. You know, there's about sixty five hundred dollars in lights uh, alone, and then we did stainless front and back. So we we spec them out really nice. That's great, man. Yeah, and it's they they work for us very well, very well. You know, and I would not call it a, a, a business that I guess you can say gets your hands dirty, but when you take this much pride, it's, why is that? It's it's just a, it, it, it's a mental mindset. You know, I like keeping everything clean. My customers like it. And it feels like I did my job for the day when their animals show up on time, clean, healthy, and no nothing's down. And it does happen, but uh, all of our customers are always 100% happy, always. That's awesome, brother. And, and we always keep our equipment clean. I mean, you know, hats off to uh, my future wife. If I didn't have her, you know, she, she's out there right with me scrubbing every day, you know, every time we're home and we're always washing. It's, it's, a, fa it's a family business. It's great, it is. man. You yeah. know, uh, shout out your company. What's that? Shout out your company. Yeah, LaSage Trucking. It's, uh, it's, it's great. I, I really, I, I, I couldn't ask for any more. We're just getting, we're just getting the ball rolling here, so. I think you're starting out the right way. Yeah, and we, we, we've been doing it for a while. Like I said, I, I started, you know, from a gooseneck when I was younger and uh, hauling calves out to South Dakota and, you know, fe little feeders back. I did that for almost four years and I'm like, oh, then I want to buy a semi and it just escalated from there. So that's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, so we got four semis and we were just a small little company, but we do what we do best. While you're doing it, I'm going to be doing What's that? <laughs> Oh, he knows. This oh, really? Is, you're ruining my reputation. Yeah. Don actually works. <laughs> he does. One and done. One and done. Yeah. Oh man, I, I love it. You just said where you don't know, tell you where to be and what to do. Okay. I, I just wanted that on camera. <laughs> That's it. Let's keep it walking. Yeah, so uh, I run, usually run my funnel gate up there, open up the bottom door, the belly door, and uh, we usually, usually put, you know, heavy cows, usually 11 down in the belly, 11 to 12. All right. Usually the bottom I don't gate too often, but uh, it all depends, you know, what I'm hauling, small cattle or heaters or whatever. But uh, these are our clean out doors where we go to the washout and <laughs> drain all the poop. <laughs> and uh, I got extra clean out doors there. And then I got one up in the front corner where my all my stuff is. That's kind of all in the way. But uh, no, we, we keep them super clean. I mean, it's. I smell nothing. No, and the, the trailer's only been, you know, put out of commission for, you know, just about two, uh, two weeks, two weeks now, to be honest. And uh, it's. Yeah, it's it's not perfectly, but it's 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 quite clean for a cattle trailer. So I love it, man. Yeah. No, thank you for showing me that. Cool. So how the heck you get into trucking, brother? Um, when I was younger, I, my dad trucked when he was, you know, at 25 to 30. He trucked for a while, and uh, it was not in livestock. He hauled furniture and some stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a bed bugger too for North American <laughs> Valens. And uh, and I don't know, like he he got out of it, and then he started a furniture store and did all that stuff, and uh, and I went with my dad trucking you know a, a lot and uh and it, it just always really intrigued me you know it's they're, you know they're just they're just awesome and i just I, I wanted to get into it and it started when i was 16 i was milking cows and hauled calves and it just kind of built from there and i i jumped around a little bit from uh some flat bedding kind of stoga work and and uh yeah and it, i just kind of always went back to cattle and it's just 
it's, it's building from there now, you know. It's just, I love it, man. How I, many I, years you've been trekking now? Uh, we're going on like 19 years. 19 years? Yeah. Why you look like you're 25, bro? I feel like it some days. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure every time you park this bad boy and you look back, you're like, damn, that's mine. Yeah, you, you always, you always, you know, all, all of our trucks are very nice. They are. and But they are work trucks, but we still take them to the extreme of cleaning them and, and taking pride in them. That's our work. And, and I don't want to get big. I just want to have a few trucks and just have nice trucks. And it's just, that's, that's what I want. That's... I don't, I don't need to get any bigger. You know? What's the advice for people that uh, want to build something special like what you have? Put your put your nose to the grind. Just keep on working, you know, and and have a mindset and stay to it from day to day. I mean, it gets tough. I'm not, I've been down the roads before. It gets tough, but you gotta keep on pushing. You mm -hmm. gotta keep on pushing. You know, because you know, a lot of people they see stuff like this and they go, "Oh, he's probably a multi-millionaire son." Nope. Nope. No, I'm just a blue collar guy and I just, I love equipment and nice equipment. And I mean, there's, I mean, everybody's got nice trucks, you know, it just, you, you got to work and you got to push forward. You know, you, you got to, you got to stay motivated. You got to get up in the morning. I mean, yeah, you might not get a lot of sleep, but you got to stay motivated. That's you great, know? man. Yeah. That's cool, man. At the end of the day, uh, you want to shout out anyone in your life or people in your life that Abs helped you get here? Absolutely. Uh, my soon-to-be wife and my family, it's, it, it, it all revolves around them. And I know sometimes we, uh, a lot of times, take it for granted. And we do. And I'll be the first one to admit. And, and work does, you know, work is work. You know, you got to, a lot of times I am gone. I mean, it's just, it, it's work. That's what pays the bills and that's what uh, keeps me going. You know, it's just. Yeah. That's great, man. It's, it's 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 tough, you know. She never she never complains once ever. I mean, it don't matter if I'm home or not. She she's she's always there. She she's definitely by far my rock, by far. That's great. Yeah. Man. If I didn't have her, I wouldn't have none of this. So <laughs> there it is. You're not sleeping on the couch tonight. No, this no, video. no, no. <laughs> There's a lot of times I should. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yeah. You know, no. Uh, at the end of the day, man, I just hey, I'm just glad I made a friend today. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, all you drivers at home, man, just know it's possible. Yeah, it, 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 anything is possible. Anything is. Yeah, I mean, I had, I didn't I didn't have a whole lot, you know, when I started, but you know, you just keep on motivated. You know, you gotta be motivated. So, that's it, man. Yeah. You're good, bro. That's it. Hell Thank yeah, that's so it, much. man. Appreciate of course, it. of course.